this morning we're talking about junk food junk is considered something that is useless or of low quality but when we're talking about junk food we think of delicious meals something that lifts our spirits and makes us feel really good this morning we will be discussing junk food and uh, the health implications uh, of junk food on us as individuals who would like to enjoy all of this those who eat it frequently and those who don't and joining me to discuss uh, the health hazards of junk food is dr dennis borte who is uh, the medical director of HealthNet medical center you're welcome to tvb new day thank you <laughs> how are you i'm good Great. Have you had any junk food this morning? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I like the song that was played initially because I actually like junk food. Mm. Uh, well, yes. I'm um, looking at the fact that, you know, I'm always on the go and all of that. It's just so easy to get into a, a drive through or, you know, a fast food joint, yeah. just get myself something really quick. Pizzas, burgers, you know, sodas, even crisps as you're, you know, That's driving right. or something. Right. So easy. But uh, it, it turns out that, you know, junk food, I, I, I may be also widening the, the net a bit much. So can we narrow it down and define what exactly junk food is? Well, I mean, basically, I think that forms quite a big chunk of what we call junk food. Um, mm. Basically, it's any kind of food that doesn't actually deliver to your body the actual nutrients you, are done, you really need, oh. but rather gives you more of what you don't need or more quantities of what you need in smaller quantities. Oh, um, right. So it's not garbage as in garbage, <laughs> but it's food. I mean, you, you get carbohydrates there, you get fats there, you get sugars there, yes. you get salts there, you get sodium. Mm. You get some of these things there. But the thing is that they are in extreme quantities that your body doesn't need doesn't or need. it gives too much to your body and so much calories to your body yeah. they get you full very quickly yeah. and yet after a very short time you're hungry, hungry again, again you would have to go for them so it 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 actually stirs up kind of kind of a vicious cycle okay. that if you are not careful you'll be going after it and after it and, and after, after it. it and again it it's it, it's 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 made in such a way that it's very tasty a lot of things are added <laughs> to make it very tasty so um uh, to, to put it in a certain way, um, junk but tasty. Okay, junk so but tasty. So if you are, if you're going to follow the taste of it, then you always go after it. But as you all know, um, the lifestyle of people and the health implications that hand on the on all of us mm. or the whole world is is, is spiraling, it's and, there's, okay. and the statistics are staggering. Yeah. Um, younger people are getting more obese these days. Mm. Younger people are getting. Um, conditions that you would have expected it um, happening to older people. Yeah. Um, so you have That's very young people now. having high blood pressures, diabetes is on the rise, wow. obesity, and all because of junk food. Because of and it comes very so, handy, you know. Yeah. It comes very very. It's it's like just stretch your hand and you can get. And you junk can food. get junk food. I like that you actually said stretch your hand and you can get junk food. And uh, you talked about the fact that it is imbalanced. So it's giving yeah. you. It's, it has certain nutrients that are good for you. But at the same time, it's, it doesn't have, it doesn't yeah. balance them out rightly for you. How frequently do you say um, I, I should eat or I can eat um, junk food? I'm asking this because it is food that is available. Mm -hmm. And so you can easily walk into any store and purchase it. But then there are other alternatives which we call proper food. Yeah. And so you might want to, you know, alternate between the two. But how often can you or should, should a person have junk food in a day or in a week? <laughs> uh, if you say how often, I mm. mean, if you want me to be very idealistic, yeah. I would have said no. Um, oh, be, at all. be very conscious of what you are putting into your body. Okay. Um, uh, but once a while, if it's once a while, once uh, somebody would say, that, oh, what about once in a day? No, once mm. in a week. No, mm. if it's once a while thing that is very really, like you are really really famished and you are you think that you are going hypoglycemic, then yeah. maybe you can grab something. But the thing is that. The things in it sometimes are very addictive. You okay. know, so junk food will have quite a high amount of salt. You know, in, in Africa, mm -hmm. when, when somebody dies, or maybe in Ghana, when mm. that, somebody dies, you know what we say? Warinchne, you know? Okay. Warinchne, that, that, that means that he's eating a lot of salt. So oh, okay. salt is like a part of it. It, 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 makes, it makes things tastier. Okay. And so junk food will have a lot of either direct salt or any other thing that has sodium in it yeah and these things as much as they are not going to cause you problems on the day of eating yeah. but it has a cascading effect it has it has a spiraling effect, effect. that 
in a couple of years time realize that now you are getting duller your brain is getting dull you okay. are putting on weight all because and, of salt yeah salt can that would lead to your blood pressure increasing okay it has negative effects on your on your heart but apart from salt it also has what we call trans sugar trans fats trans fats which that's are? what trans fats these are fats that you actually get from when things are fried Okay. Anytime you are finding things, you are presenting or producing a lot of trans fats. And no trans fat is good for the body. It okay. ends up or contributes to your the increase in your cholesterol levels. So we've heard of cholesterol, cholesterol, exactly. cholesterol. It is one of the um, things that complicates um, things like hypertension, complicates things like diabetes. Mm. And the, the, the thing is that with the high amount of calories that you are taking in junk yeah. food, your body ends up storing unnecessary energy, which you don't burn. That's true. Now, you don't burn this energy, it sits in you, and then you, be, you also get, start getting obese. Mm. And trust you me, any, uh, any chronic medical condition you, you, you can dare dream about or you can dare talk about, mm. obesity has, taken, has gained notoriety in any of these. Talk mm. of the cancers, talk of hypertension, mm. talk of diabetes, prostate cancer, breast cancer, whatever cancer you can mention. Yeah that um, obesity is part of it wow. so it means that with these junk food and the fact that younger people are getting busier by the day young people exactly. are getting to executive positions and mm. they are stressed and so they they are stressed they are hungry they don't have time to um, have time to maybe have cooked home well exactly. cooked home where you know that i'm putting contumbre in this i'm putting this and that and you consciously are putting something together yeah. so you just grab anything you say so just, get, just go and get me this just go and get me that yeah. and then you're on the go you satisfy yourself and anytime you put this junk food in your system now it challenges your your pancreas okay. quickly to release insulin because once right. sugars these sugars get that in this fast this insulin will just rise up and then because sugar has come exactly. you have to go and work on the sugar quickly exactly. it will just drive all the sugar out of the system especially when you are a person who is not diabetic if you mm. drive all the sugar out of the system into storage and quickly once sugar leaves your system you begin to feel hungry again exactly so you need more sugar to that's right go in. and these junk food they don't have enough fiber in them that's true so, so that just, will keep you full no okay so um the thing so what happens is that you eat it today or you eat it now and then Gradually, you are putting on weight. Your cholesterol is increasing. It doesn't increase it over, it increase overnight. Mm. The the LDLs will be increasing. The total cholesterol will be increasing. And then after a couple of years, you realize that I am no more the person I used to, used be. to be. You your your exercise tolerance goes down. Yeah. You, you can't exert yourself the way you used to, mm. and you will be looking much older than older faster faster than you you really are. Uh. Okay, I like that you even mentioned the exercising. Some people would actually choose to balance junk food with exercise to say that, okay, since I'm taking high calories, I might as well hit the gym or, right. you know, start my cardio or my strength training, whatever it is, so that I am able to burn the calories. So it's literally plus one, minus, minus one. one. Would you say it is a good um, lifestyle habit? That is, that is what I call tickling yourself and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're just tickling yourself and laughing. Now, um, so let me take uh, the calories, for example. Okay. So if you have something that, let's say sugars, mm -hmm. that has 200 calories in it. Yes. And you have a healthy thing like, let's say, broccoli. Okay. Or contumely, that is also um, 200 calories. I like you said contumely because some of us don't like broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, you have contumely, that is also 200 calories. Mm -hmm. I bet you that the things that you have in the uh, contumely is way, way be better than the 200 calories. And it's easier even to burn that which you are getting from the contumely mm. than what you are getting from the junk food. Now, with the junk food, in the first place, it's sugars, fats, and all that. Yes. Now, these fats will get deposited in your um, in your uh, cholesterol stream or mm -hmm. your uh, blood vessels. Mm -hmm. um, these sugars, apart from being in your blood vessels, can lead to your blood pressure going up. up. Now, you can have the same calories, but this one is healthier. For example, the um, the mm -hmm. has it doesn't have... Plants don't really have much cholesterol in them. Okay. Animal products or animal products, okay. they're animals like us. We also have higher <laughs> animals. They contain cholesterol. So yeah. you eat them, you add their cholesterol to your cholesterol that you yourself, you're also producing right. by your liver. But um, plants have what we call cellulose. Okay. So let, cellulose has more fiber. Okay. It doesn't stay in you for too long. It's able to pass out quickly. Okay. So that this one gets out. So it means that if you are going to say that you are going to exercise to 
um, take uh, the junk food from your system. Yes. Then what, for the same 200 calories and 200 calories here, mm. you would need to do as much as three times of work to get this out as you would for getting out I what see. the energy you could, or the calories you get that from consuming. So you cannot, um, that's what I'm saying, is that taking yourself and laughing. And laughing. You know, it's just like they're playing the ostrich. Put your head under <laughs> the sun and say that and no the danger is coming. Is there, you can always is. is there. Indeed. It's only when you have gotten to a certain age that you realize that the lifestyle that you led yeah. uh, earlier on um, is what Just has contributed to, to your present state. You said um, fr uh, frying foods um, is linked to trans fats. When you fry foods, that's when you get trans fats. Yes. Um, anything that we fry. And sometimes you know that in our homes... Uh, uh, after frying, yes. some of the oil is also <laughs> refried. The oil that was used in frying yeah. is saved yes. and then and used then again. again. It even gets worse. So we shouldn't we shouldn't even reuse our oils. Yes, it's not advisable saying. to reuse the oils. And does it also depend? Some would also say that there are other kinds of oils that you would use that are healthier. And so if I say use olive oil to fry my, my food or my chicken, that is healthier. I, would it also result in the whole trans fat issue as well? If I, you know, no matter the oil that I use. Yes. Um, there are oils that are known to be very good. Um, okay. You, especially the plant-based ones. I remember when we were children, we used to see vegetable oil on the market. Yes, see that's vegetable true. oil, yes. Vegetable oil. So these are much better oils than um, others that you get from animal sources. Mm -hmm. um, but whichever way, the amount of fries that you would want to take into your system yeah. should be regulated. Okay. Now. Um, that is not to say that we don't eat, I don't eat anything that is fried at all. Mm -hmm. But it, is, it would be better if you ate something that was cooked, boiled, right. rather than fries. Fried. But occasionally, because of the thing, we are all addicted to something. You, <laughs> the taste is there, so you want to do it. But we are saying that don't overdo it. Mm. These days, um, because people have, uh, I mean, people are getting more affluent. Uh, people, yes. what our parents couldn't afford at our age now, a lot of people can afford to. So mm. They drive, even their kids, drive their kids anywhere. They just take and they munch and munch and munch. Mm. You're having a lot of childhood obesity. And true. these things go a long way, even to affect the intellect, how the IQ of children in school. So if you are eating a lot of junk stuff, you can be sure that their performance in school is also going to be affected. Affected, I see. Um, there's also... You, you mentioned some fries and all of that, and, and I like that we have to, we've talked about the common, you know, uh, junk foods. Would you say that, you know, fried pork is also, uh, also falls under that? Because we do a lot of the domedo and all that. What's oh, yeah. like having with that fried yam? And is that, does that also fall under uh, junk food? Someone saw a doctor standing at a pork joint. <laughs> <laughs> like the doctor. I know that many people say we shouldn't eat this way. Exactly. And then said, oh, once, once in a while. Wow, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, again, pork tastes nice. Yes. Um, so, again, to juxtapose that to what I said, mm -hmm. I mean, if your pork is boiled, mm. yeah, sure, you burn a lot of some of these fats out. Oh, right. But pork itself has a lot of fat leading in it. Yeah. And then you also fry it with all these things, uh, oils and yes. all that. Uh, double trouble, mm -hmm. double, double, double it's silence, exactly. as you call it. So, um, again, it becomes a habit because the thing tastes nice. Before long, you'll be going after it every now and then. Mm. If it's once a while, sometimes the body is able to work on itself, you put junk in, but, but if it becomes consistent, consistent, that is what is going to cause you a lot of trouble oh um, in, in, in fewer years than you, you ever thought. It looks like I'm going to be in trouble. I have to change my ways. <laughs> but uh, if the pork is grilled, though, it is better. Is it a it's, better option? Again, I would say that if it's, it's better. If it's grilled, it's a better option. Better. Okay, so Johnny, now you know that uh, you know when you have your pork grilled, you can enjoy it. And he's asking about uh, slim teas as well. Do slim teas fall under... A junk junk food i wouldn't say so slim tea uh is it what it, they call the green tea if it's the green tea the green tea green tea is healthy but the other slim teas are, are some uh, concoctions like, uh, and all of that uh, those who i don't really know mm. about them but if it's green tea green tea is quite healthy yeah um but w the thing about slimming is that mm. there is there's no end in sight yeah if you want to slim and using a method yeah that does not really tilt your metabolism out of order okay um delivers all the nutrients you have it's you know slimming by denying yourself of nutrients is not the best right you can slim down by making sure your body still gets all its nutrients mm. for example um instead of going to take so much of sugars yeah. you can drink a lot of water 
Right. Now, water, would, you, when you take sugar in the streets, sugar uh, drinks, you, you yeah. get full so quickly. Yeah. And after a short time, you're hungry, you're again, hungry again. You would That's want true. to grab them again. Yeah. But water would do likewise. It would fill your tummy mm. for the meantime about an hour or two. But I want the taste. Yeah, the taste is what, and it, that is what we get addicted to. And remember, sugars are very addictive. Mm. Sugar is very, very addictive. And basically, we've, we are, the whole world is addicted to it. Yeah. I mean, we are born with it. With it exactly. We are born our cocoa, our porridge, everything. That, everything. So we start getting, getting used to it. Yeah. And then without it, you don't seem to be feeling anything. Mm. But again, it's a process of what um, of you being able to win yourself off, off it. sugars okay. it's possible and you can you cannot win yourself totally off but you can cut it down drastically i mean some um, of the things we buy and drink there are sugars in there already yeah. so why do you also want to add more sugar right you can just do water and water will still keep hunger away for some time mm -hmm. and then it can help you in your weight reduction and i said there's no end inside because whatever method you are using to um you lose the weight they might as well continue forever <laughs> because once you stop yeah, if you, you, if you are not feeding on that thing, you would feed on something else, that like the junk food, and your weight is going to come back. Mm. So I keep saying that the fight against weight loss mm. or the fight against obesity is a perpetual fight. Yeah. There's no end inside. You are fighting this fight till, till mm. the kingdom come. You're gone. So you, you've mentioned a few ingredients. You mentioned salt. You mentioned sugar. Yeah. You mentioned um, fat as fat. well. So <laughs> even with uh, some of the prepackaged products, when we pick them off the shelves, you should look out for these things. On the labels as well can we do we have any other ingredients that we should look out for so that um, at least with packaged uh, products so that when we you know go out shopping for these things we know what to cut out as well yes and um, when you have things look for the sodium okay uh, sodium is a, is, a, is a yeah so sodium whatever okay. it usually comes in a compound form okay. I, will, I don't want to mention names to <laughs> yes, I do that. So, so sodium something mm -hmm. these things uh, Sodium, wherever sodium goes, mm. water follows. Right. So in your system, when there's a lot of sodium in your blood, mm. in term, whether it's sodium chloride or mm. sodium something else yes. that have been added to products uh, to make it taste saltier, you know, we go and buy stuff like uh, crackers or mm -hmm. um, uh, crepsy stuff, and you yeah. know, the, the salty one, exactly. you know, and then it like feels those. good. That's direct eating of salt. Okay. It could be sodium chloride, it could be sodium with anything, anything else. else. Now, it goes into your blood, Water follows into your blood, and then your blood volume also increases mm. as a result, direct, direct result. And then what happens is that once your blood volume is going up, yes. your blood pressure also goes up. Right. And this thing, again, I said, it, it will go to the point of affecting your heart. Then um, you, you don't have high blood pressure in your family, and yet you start getting high mm. blood pressure. And then with the high blood pressure, later on, it affects the kidney. Uh, it affects the liver. It affects other things. This is what I call the domino effect. So mm. it hits Strike one, one down, and then gradually everybody. As well. if, it, if it's a drop, then we just one drop, then ripples. it causes ripple. Wow. So just look for the sodiums. Look for the kind of fats that they are. Mm. They, they are saturated and saturated trans fats. Look for at least one that we could have a lot of uh, low amount of calories in mm. is better for you. The amount of the quantity of junk food you even consume yeah, also matters. Go, right. As much as you say that don't, yeah. uh, but the quantities also matter. Uh, even if you have to, then let the quantity be low. You, 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 I tell you what, the amount of food we consume as a sitting, the body doesn't need all this of it in terms of quantity. <laughs> Look for what is in it. So the more colorful your food is, mm. the healthier. Okay. So you have some greens, you have some reds from maybe tomatoes, mm -hmm. you have some Hello. orange from carrots, yeah. you have some um, violet or something. Mm. These things are healthier than going... In the same way, you can also be eating king all the time and just the white or rice all the time, white <laughs> rice all the time. You have, and to, have, that's color on your you have to have the other. The most important thing for me is the stew or the soup right. or the sauce that goes with it. Those have because, to be very yes, nutritious. Nutritious because after the rice is just one way. Mm. Kabo is the main yeah. thing. <laughs> but the sauce will have some uh, some tomatoes there, which, tomatoes which are also good for the men. Mm. Um, if, you are, if you are a man, you can have one tomato, tomato. to eat every day. It's good for your prostate. It mm. helps prevent it. It contains something called lycopenes okay. that help reduce the size of the prostate or mm. prevent uh, prostate enlargement and prostate cancer. If you have pepper in there, it has, it has a good part, some garden eggs, some um, greens. These things are in, in the, the soup, but people who actually consume the fufu and then the, and then the belefou. Exactly. When the belly is full, they the leave the, 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 the soup.
I read somewhere that um, you know some some someone was talking about the fact that uh, uh, you know depression and um, you know food junk food uh, have a link, and I wanted to better understand how that would happen because yes, people stress eat and all of that, but what what link has junk food really got to do with depression? Well, there there are cases like that. Um, apart from the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, it can affect your breathing. Once you get obese, it can affect your breathing. Your skin, even your skin, the quality yeah. of your skin has to do a lot with what we are eating. Mm. And if you are eating a lot of junk food, yeah. these acne and these things, they also get yeah. even more um, more of a chance to 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 rise in your system. Depression, yes, um, it affects the the mind. Uh, Somebody can eat, mm -hmm. and after that they are sad. And especially when the person has even eaten and knows that I've eaten myself to this level or to this size, they have become obese, and yet they cannot um, stop what they are eating. It, it can lead to depression. Um, so eating junk food mm. leads to obesity, leads to blood pressure, leads to a lot of health com complications that can actually narrow down mm. or dovetail into you feeling depressed, depressed because of the way you are feeling in your body. Wow. Ill health. Ill health. I see. Uh, someone asked the question, uh, how can he burn the fat that is in his system? I know you've talked about it, but uh, I'm sure he just tuned in as well. That's uh, Fortune from Boku. He's asking how he can burn the fat in his uh, system. Well, so exercise is one. Okay. Um, depending on how much you have, you do a lot of exercise okay. and then regulate what you are putting into your system. Okay. Um, cut down sugars. Okay. If, if possible, do water. Yeah. Make it a habit. If take all the sugars from your fridge, just fill it with more of water. Yeah. So it, it, when you stretch your hand, what you can grab is water. I come to my office in my <laughs> fridge. Everybody knows in my office. You go to my fridge, it's just water. Water. Exactly. So it, if I throw my hand, I just grab water. Grab water. But if there's sugar in there, and you, ha you are likely to pull it. Mm. So make it a con make a conscious effort at that. Exercise a lot. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Cut down on carbohydrates and uh, starchy stuff. Yeah. And then uh, sleep well. Sleep well. well. So I'm, I'm seeing at the end of the day that you have a balanced, a well-balanced diet. Diet and, and lifestyle. And lifestyle as well. Eat yeah. what you need to have mm -hmm. at that point in time. Okay, that's been a very, very interesting one, yeah. talking about depression and, uh, you know, the, uh, sorry, not depression, uh, but junk food and then their implications yeah. on, um, you know, our bodies. Let's go through really, really quickly. It affects our skin. Skin. It affects our weight. Weight. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. It can lead to, it can contribute to strokes. Strokes. It can lead to, contribute to kidney diseases. Okay. It can contribute to cancers. Cancers. Uh, mm. And, All right. um, your bones and everything becomes weaker. Okay, wow, that's even worse. So when you get older, <laughs> you, you might have uh, trouble with your bones as well. Exactly. Well, I've been talking to Dr. Dennis Borte, who is a medical director at uh, HealthNet Medical Center. We now understand that uh, too much of junk food is not uh, will not help us. Aside the fact that it drains our pockets, it would also drain our health as well. And so take note and do whatever you have to do in moderation.